Hi everybody, it's Franny, and we're making great progress on the 308. We've got all four corners back together, suspension-wise. We're doing really well with all that. Now, I want to get the car down on all fours, but we still have one big task we've got to do before we do that, and that is to bleed the brakes. So we've had the front calipers off, and we've replaced all the soft lines, so we've got tons of air in the system. So what we're going to do today is go around and bleed all four brakes, and then when we're done with all that, I think we can actually get the car back down on all fours. That's going to be exciting. I've got my trusty assistant Heidi here. Hi. So what Heidi's going to do is she's going to be sitting in the driver's seat pumping the brakes and I'm going to be releasing the teats on one of the wheels and that's how we're going to do it. Now I do have a pressure bleeder and I could use that but oh my gosh I could just imagine pumping this thing up. <laughs> yeah and then it popping off, fluid going everywhere, clarity ensues, it would be a big old mess. That would not be good. So I think what we're gonna do is the old fashioned method. It works really well. And these brakes are pretty simple anyways. Yeah, so, it's fun. Yeah. So you have any questions, Heidi? I don't. Okay, so Heidi's done this a bunch of times. So yeah. she's an old hand at this. So we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna go ahead and pull whatever's left of the fluid out of here first, I think. There's only a little bit left because it's been leaking a bit. And just I just wanna get any old fluid out. We're just gonna do a complete flush while we're at it. Now, one of the other things, Heidi, do you remember where to start? When you start, when you do your brakes, what's the first one that you do? Um, in this case, it's the farthest away, but I'm not sure where the master cylinder actually is. It's located. actually, well, that's a, so that's a great question. <laughs> the reservoir on this car is actually sitting right on top of the master cylinder, literally sitting right on top of it. And our brake booster is right next to it. Here it slightly is right here. So it's slightly on the right hand side right of the car. Side. So the left. So the Back. rear left, rear yeah. Left. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up for the rear left, put Heidi in the car, get this reservoir all taken care of, and we'll go ahead and fill it up with fluid and we'll get started. Now remember these reservoirs are dual chambers, so you wanna make sure that both chambers has fluid in it, and it looks like the other side is slowly coming up. Must be a very small hole in the wall between the two, I suppose. Yep, fluid level's going down. So let's go ahead and fill this up a little bit more. We wanna get as much fluid in the reservoir as possible because the very last thing we want is to be bleeding the brakes and this reservoir to run dry. All right, I think we're good there. And it took quite a bit of fluid, look at that. On the rear calipers here, the little bleeder here is a seven millimeter. It's deedy, it's this little guy. It's really small. All right, well, let's go ahead and pop our little dust cover off. And then what we're gonna do is hook up our tube here. Well, I guess what we're gonna have to do is put this on first. We'll put the tube on over this. This is our setup here. Just there, it's loose now. What Heidi's gonna do is she's gonna pump a few times and then she's gonna hold her foot up against the pedal and then I'm gonna break this loose and then we'll see what comes out and then I'll tighten it back up and she'll continue. We'll keep doing that until we get all of the air out of the system. All right, so here we go. Heidi, go ahead and pump a few times and hold please. And let me know when you're there. Yeah, it's, I'm all the way depressed now. Okay. Letting out a bit here, not getting a bunch. Didn't expect to because we've got all new soft lines here, so lots and lots of air in the system. We'll go ahead and close this again. And okay, go again, Heidi. Pump, pump, hold. All right. Getting a little bit of fluid, not a lot yet. Okay, again, Heidi. Yep. Pump, 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 hold. Good. There we go. Now we're getting some fluid flowing through, but still a ton of air, huh? All right, again. Pump, pump, hold. Now we're getting some fluid through. That's great. Now we've got a little bit of fluid in the bottom of our bottle. The nice thing about these bottles is I also have an internal tube that goes all the way down. And once it's under the fluid, there's no way for it to pull any air back up into the system. And at that point, Heidi can just pump away and I have this open and we'll start filling up. All right, go ahead and pump, pump, hold please. Pump, pump, hold. Okay, all right. Now will you just continue pumping please? Pump, pump, there we go. Pump. And we can see as she's pumping way back there, we're getting quite a bit of fluid through here. And we can see a little air bubble there. I could see one go through there. Pump, pump, pump. 
Hold. All right, well, Lock that off for a second. Let me go check the reservoir really quick like a bunny. I just checked the reservoir and we're only down maybe a quarter. So that's awesome. We can pull a bit more fluid out. So Heidi, go ahead and pump, pump, hold, please. Okay. Pump, pump, hold. All right, and we'll open that up. Continue pumping, please. Pump, pump, keep pumping. Yes, please. And this is that darker fluid as well, so this is the old fluid. But it looks like we have some clear new fluid coming through, which is great. All right, and I don't see any more bubbles at all. And I'm gonna lock this off like that and disconnect our tube here. I'm gonna let that drain. All right, you can release now. Next thing we'll do is just put our dust cap back. There we go, that guy back on. We're done here with the left rear wheel. Let's move over to the right rear wheel, which is our next furthest from the master cylinder. And it's super important to remember to refill the reservoir after every wheel. The last thing you want is that reservoir running dry. And again, remember there's two chambers in there. So make sure both chambers are filled with fluid. It's the same process here on the right rear. We're going to pull our little dust cap off. And then we're going to work our wrench on in this case. Then we're going to put our tube on. There we go. One thing I want to mention is I didn't empty the bottle. And the reason is because remember that center tube, we can keep that under this fluid. It makes this process a lot faster. And I've got plenty of bottle here. I think we're pretty good here. I didn't get nearly as much air as I really expected to get, which is a little strange, but we certainly got quite a bit of fluid. So, hmm. All right, at this point, we're gonna remove our tube and our wrench, and we're going to put our little dust cap back on. And I think we're pretty good here. We're gonna move from here to the front left wheel. Now at this point, Heidi, release the pedal. Okay. And how does it feel when you push on it? Is it hard or soft? It's pretty darn hard. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. good. That's what we're looking for. All right, do you feel that the brakes feel pretty good? Do you think? Yeah, yeah definitely. Okay. I feel we made some progress. Okay, release the brakes. I did. You did, okay. Go ahead and hit them again. Yeah, oh yeah, that's working. Okay, all right, you can release. All right, at this point, we're just same old thing. We're gonna release our hose here, pull our hose off, get our wrench off, and put our little dust cup back. All right, well, there we go. All right, well, I think that's pretty much it for the brakes. Heidi says the pedal feels good and solid, and that's awesome, because at this point, what we can do now is actually put the wheels back on the car and get the car down on all fours. We do have a few more things to torque. Remember, we've got our torsion bars we need to tor torque down, but 95% of the torquing's already been done. All the A-arms and the shocks and all that sort of stuff have already been done. So that's going to save us a huge amount of time. All right. Well, our next step is just going to be to get the wheels back on the car and then to get the car back down on all fours. Very excited about that. We don't want to forget at the end here to fill our reservoir back up to the max line. So let's do that now. Now there's a cowling that goes in here and covers up all of this bit here. I took it out just because I thought it'd be a lot easier to see the reservoir and to work on it. And it's only just a few screws, but I'll go ahead and throw that back in. I 
hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. We still have a bunch more work, believe it or not, to do on this car. We've got some stuff to do on the engine. We've got some interior work, some front stuff that we're gonna do. It's gonna be pretty sweet. So we're not done yet, but we've got a huge project just about complete. All right, well, thank you so, so much for watching. And as always, a very special thank you to our Patreon supporters. Until next time, safe travels. Bye.